collaboration diagram in fact this diagram tells us how the objects interact or collaborate with each other so a collaboration diagrams allow us to show the interaction between objects over time right so it will give us a concept of interaction along with the sequence here is an example of a complete collaboration diagram so here is a user as we have studied this use uh, this uh, is study in a from our book so it it contains a gambler so this is an object so this collaborates or interacts with the race list this is another object so this is the connection association between the gambler and the race list so here we we can see this one so this one means the first of all the gambler will get the race list right so this is the sequence number one, the, col the collaboration number one. Now, for the race list, we will get the race name. So one list can have, for example, in the same area, there are 10 races are going on. So we will have a race list and this race list will contain so many race names, right? So number two is get race name. So how 
we are collaborating gambler gets the race list each race list contains here we have a loop first second third and n so this diagram describes how different components collaborate with each other we can see the collaboration of objects in the real life for example if a person goes to the library and he asks the librarian for some certain book so the librarian first of all checks sequence one he goes to the library and asks for a book librarian checks from the catalog right and then librarian sends some assistant to go to the bookshelf and bring that particular book so the sequence is or the real life collaboration is this user goes to the library asks for the book the librarian looks in the into the catalog where is the position of that book then she asks the assistant to go to that particular shelf and bring the book so this is the way in the real life we can see the collaboration between different objects similarly in this case we can draw a diagram in which we have different components the user the librarian and in this manner we can draw a collaboration diagram we will study the uh, how to design or how to make a collaboration diagram in the next lecture inshallah the second diagram that we discussed in the design is a sequence diagram in simpler words a sequence diagram shows different parts of the system work in a sequence to get something done so in fact this is a diagram that tells us how a particular task can be done and what will be the sequence of those steps or sequence of commands or sequence of messages so now check here is one object that is gambler right so in this sequence diagram we have placed it here and it is dealing with the computer system the software so we put a box with the name system so now gambler asks for the uh, race uh, race list so system presents the day's races now gambler out of those races selects a race when he selects a race system sends the runners the horses for that particular race so the gambler selects some specific horse from that list right runners list and he selects then he enters the stake the money the bet money for that right and then he confirms so we can see that it is a very simple diagram we will study this in detail but it describes how a particular action was performed or how a use case was implemented now we move to the class diagram as we have seen we will study we, we, we design for example number one the uh, sequence diagram with the collaboration diagram and now we are moving towards the class diagram in fact class diagram gives an overview of a software system by displaying the classes attributes operations and their relationships so this is very important that in fact that class diagram gives us an overview of the whole system right this diagram includes the class name attributes operation that you normally call the method or the function in separate designated compartments conceptual model is converted into class diagram so that means we have already designed a conceptual model in elaboration and now that conceptual model will be converted into the class diagram so how just have a simple example and we will study in the coming lecture this is a class diagram the class name there is bank the variable or attribute name the bank code the bank address then we have the function manages maintains atm attribute location and managed by then atm has the methods or the functions identifies transactions right so in fact this is a very simple diagram for, or a class diagram in which we can see different object different classes their attributes and their methods we will study these diagrams in detail later on so it's summary in fact in design we move from what to how 
we go for models that describe the implementation side. And in this phase, we model interaction diagram, that is collaboration diagram and sequence diagram, along with class diagram and state transition diagram. So that's all for this lecture. And now you will have to draw these very basic, di basic diagrams for your class project and submit in the next class. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.